my viewers so this video is a continuation of our previous video where we saw a lot of golden tips and evidence based tips which has got from the therapeutic skills on how to improvise the relationship and the interpersonal effectiveness especially among couples and because of the present day scenario we would where we would see the quality of relationship declining for various reasons and uh, so we saw all the skills and i hope that you practice those skills also so let's see other interpersonal skills which is going to be even more helpful for you through this video so please don't forget to watch until the end of this video and also give your uh, experience in the comment section so that it could be helpful for the others also to give them the confidence that oh it's not just theory and i can also use the skill so that i can easily and immediately see the results coming in in the terms of joy warmth and it's very important that we need to have this kind of um, you know quality of relationship and enriched relationship because every day we are so stressed and the end of the day and we feel that okay there is someone waiting there for me and they're going to give me the warmth and going to fill my heart with a lot of love is going to be really reassuring because for a lot of people you really want to avoid your spouse and do something else so if you could put these skills into practice you will have a great companion also so let's see so in any interpersonal communications and conversation you are going to have with the spouse always keep this very important thing in mind that you need to be respectful because earlier times it was like you know gender inequality was there and another person was ready to take the lack of respectful words and all that now there is disrespect is definitely cannot be entertained and lot of sexual harassment issues are there and you need to be really respectful of your pauses especially male to female conversations and talking about you are never be disrespectful even if your emotions are on running high and you know you're not in a position to use the right words as i already told you be mindful about it and just go away from the conversation when it's heated up and because you might use lot of disrespectful words and generally also in your everyday conversation you need to be really respectful of your spouse and also you need to appear more competent and effective and not like you know very dependent and helpless and you need to fill me and you know you know you are like a part which is going to fill me it's not like that and both the husband and wife are equals nobody is like you know we're trying to fill the void or something like that and both are like in a enriched fulfilled relationships as well so you need to keep this in uh, this point very much in mind and one more important thing is lot of times we are actually seeing the world through filters called perceptual filters and we make a major blunder uh, in our communication and the major barrier i would say is the selective perception bias you may wonder like am i using some technical words okay it's not about technical make it simple have you heard of this phrase like we see what we want to see and we hear what we want to hear and um, by now like after getting being married for 4 years and 5 years in the relationship you know exactly what your spouse would say and what their likes and dislikes are and you just go with that attitude yeah she is going to say no to this and uh, then you would also hear the same thing but then maybe to your surprise they didn't say that okay so you need to be really mindful and listen and open up all your five senses and just listen to what they are trying to say and not only listen to the most important things are the points what they're going to highlight on because you may be extremely you know being very um, what to say stereotyped or prejudiced and you may make mistakes in that assumptions and assumptions can go wrong very pathetically so the, the skill i can tell you here is to negotiate the meaning of the message and sometimes we all human and we make make mistakes in assuming that oh that's what you said this is what you meant and we may distort the sender so this skill called negotiating the meaning of the message and by giving adequate feedback and saying that oh you look sad are you really sad and you can't assume that the person is sad just because they are sitting in the corner and using their phone or something like that so you just have to break that stereotyping or assumptions and be mindful that we human are like fallible and we can make all these errors and try to break it by asking you know the negotiate the meaning and did you mean this when you said this okay what did you exactly mean by that so break this bias uh, so this can also uh, avoid lot of uh, significant conflicts which may just come in in our people in our relationships and we'll go to the next tip the next tip is the vast part of today's talk it is assertive skills it's very important assertive skill is very important because lot of times i've seen people passive one of the partners being very passive in the relationship can be husband or wife and what happens after being passive and just giving into the demands of their spouse and one day they might just lose all their cool and they may just uh, you know uh, just vent out their emotions other person it may significantly spoil the relationship at 
that moment and all or they'll be feeling like i'm always cuddling and i'm always the teddy bear and always trying to smooth it out and always the person who is giving in i'm not receiving anything back so this kind of feeling if you don't want to have you need to learn very important skill called assertive skill so for more detail on assertive skill i'll give link to that but then i can give you more um, useful small tips here also to improvise on your assertive skill it's very important that you need to say no to unwanted requests you need to practice it and majorly as i told you about how to break the myths in thinking process the one of the spouse may think that oh my husband or wife would uh, mistake me if i say no or uh, you know he may not like me so in that case you refrain from saying no and give in to the demands and and have remorse and hostility later so it's better be aware of your priorities just ask yourself what is it i like and what is it i can't take it at all and what are my dislikes and my uh, is my partner pushing me to the boundaries to you know and make me do such things and high time you stand up for yourself and uh, you know describe how you feel describe your wants and also it's very important that you use i statements when you are as trying to be assertive and if you say that oh it's because you know we feel that way we we felt that and you know talking like in another person's um, not and the third person tense it's not going to you be useful you need to use i i am very offended when you come late so you have to just express your emotions and as a one important aspect of assertiveness is also expressing your emotions through good choice of words and while you're using the words it's important that your tone is also very even like you know when you are using assertive words it's not like you are you know talking very fast you know i i was very angry when you did this it's not like that i was very angry i was very angry when you showed up late to the theater so this is the kind of tone you use and very you know very uh, it's not like very strained conversation you are going to have a very even paced tone and also the choice of words are going to be very respectful and you are going to just express your emotions and followed by the behavior of your spouse which you really want them to change and it's very important that you have this kind of assertive communication most of the times in your uh, interpersonal communication and lot of couples are refraining from this because of the you know fear of conflict creeping in and all that and because the other person feels defeated they refrain from this assertive communication but then lot of conflicts are actually uh, coming into the relationship because of this lack of assertive skill i would say and one day the wife that's why they make fun that you know women records everything in their bindi so they keep on adding the piles of they keep on collecting the stamps and one day they would explode saying oh you did you made me do this you made me do that and i did everything for past 10 years now i'm done with you and they even go for divorce so to avoid this not that you every day have to be assertive but then make sure if somebody is making you to do or yield into the demands which you feel unreasonable please speak up it's very important if you really need to work on it you need to attend a workshop or go for a counseling or at least look into my video and try to sharpen your assertive skills and own the statements so again to summarize it's about know your priorities and use proper tone and also you need to you express your emotions there and also you need to validate the feelings and reinforce your uh, what your spouse says at the same time you need to be like a broken record keep telling your point of view and you can't refrain from it okay and uh, the next thing which is very important again is empathy so about empathy i've spoken lots and volumes but then empathy is a very important skill in interpersonal skill and it's important that we need to the, take the perspective of another person because please understand your perspective can be highly different from my perspective and it's very important that we need to look into the perspective of your partner especially in conflict situation with what reasons are they coming up with it and what is the emotional situation are they in and what is making them to feel this way so take a time to you know take other person's perspective it can solve lot of problems i'm not saying like you may agree at the end of it you may still respectfully and without any confrontation willing to agree to disagree also and then please avoid any kind of confrontational communication who oh, you did this and and you're going to get punishment for this and you said this never use this you word also that is one of the important tips and uh, that's why i told you use i and avoid using you because when you say the you word your cup, your spouse is going to be very defensive and say no i didn't do this even when they know that they have just done it okay so either maybe if you are going to use i it's going to be is easy for them to get the feedback and that's going to be the constructive feedback the moment you use you they're never going to listen to the feedback they're just going to cut the conversation by saying i didn't do it they don't want to own it up at all 
so never blame using the word you but rather use respectful words and use a choice of i in communication apart from assertive communication where you use i even here you need to use i which is going to be very useful and the next tip is going to show the balance this is the very interesting part in interpersonal effectiveness where you wouldn't have heard about this a lot actually i could say that you need to be balanced in your uh, interpersonal life interpersonal what to say in a communication where you have with your spouse because sometimes it's like you know you have lot of things you want to do and there are certain things that you should do in a relationship which you may not really like it right you need to balance your wants and enjoy what you want as well as you also should do certain things which you may not enjoy but just do for your spouse as well so that's where some compromises come in also and again there should be a balance in should i ask or you know am i asking too much or are you not asking anything at all so as i told you earlier making request there are a lot of people shy away or refrain from making request oh if i make request and what if she is going to say no to it or what if he is going to say no to it let me not ask at all so they never ask for any request they think that i don't deserve it i'm not giving anything in the relationship so let me not ask but again there are certain people who ask too many things an unreasonable thing also so again maintain a balance not asking too much and ask like and also when you're asking something see if the other person is capable of giving and yielding to your request right so and they should have the skill to give what you really wanted and also i uh, just ask yourself am i asking too much or am i not even asking anything so between these two things also you need to figure out a nice balance and uh, lastly we have come to the end of these uh, golden tips i should say and towards the end i'm saying that we should have a pinch of sense of humor sense of humor can lighten the moment very easily and when you are even in a tough conflict situations when your emotions are going to be very high still but never sarcasm or cynicism i'm talking about it's a good positive sense of humor it's going to lighten up the day and not only during conflict situations even in everyday communication with your spouse always try using this magic ingredient called um, sense of humor it's going to lighten up the moment and it's going to improve your bonding also and most of the times also the next thing is you need to talk about your thoughts feelings your likes dislikes to your spouse this is very important and this is going to make them open up to you a lot that's called self disclosure we say in relationship and you can also slowly share about your dark gray spots or areas only when they are also ready to take it up and this will improvise your bonding and a lot of times only in quizzes we say oh do you know this do you know what i like and do you know what i want my favorite dishes and not these are all like surface level go to the more deeper level of what your spouse's uh, you know goal is all about and what they actually secretly love and what they really what their deepest thoughts and emotions are all these things you need to probe in by you know opening up to your partner and also in a very lighter moments and again i'm telling you when the partner is emotional or sense uh, you know very um, delicate and those situations don't uh, use this kind of self disclosure only when you are in a very emotionally stable situations you need to follow these skills so i think i've given a lot of like flooded you with a lot of skills from part 1 and the part 2 and um, if you could use at least 50% of the skills i've been discussing with you without any attitude barriers and with the conviction that i'm going to invest my time and effort into the relationship to improvise and the benefits is like too much the benefit is like great don't worry about it because the benefits of real quality and good relationship is innumerable so it's worth using and putting these skills into practice so i would definitely urge you to put all these skills into practice and also give in the comment about your response how you your relationship is prospering whether it is actually becoming more effective and all that you can share so that it will give you the boost and motivation for other couples also to put into use so i hope this video was helpful and interesting if you find so please do share with a lot of people and not only in cup between couples and between any relationship these techniques and these skills are going to be very useful so let me catch up on another interesting video and episode so take care until then bye